Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Well, I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said, but I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. No, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against... the machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes! Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Use your forte against the foible! No! Beat first, then lunge! Distance, distance! Use your forte against the foible! Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repost. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like... How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see... It's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? How appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, no, no. That was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Ah, oh. a correct response to, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, 
would have been something like, First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. You make me want to puke. I am rubber, you are glue. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate! You fight like a cow! I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. Boy, are you ugly! What's the matter? Just get out of sword fighting class. I give up! You win! Move out of the way, or I cut my way through! My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die! Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. You make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. I give up. You win. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. He must have taught you everything you know? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh, yeah? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. 
soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster? I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. You make me think somebody already did? Are you up? You win! Aye, oh, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? I've spoken with apes more polite than you. He must have taught you everything you know? I've heard you were a contemptible snake. You make me think somebody already did? Yikes! Nice move! Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh, yeah? You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. You make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Wow! You're good enough to fight the Swordmaster! Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Me handkerchief will wipe up your blood. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. I give up, you win! Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as janitor after all? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh?
I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I am Rabbi, you are Glue. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword, master. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything! I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike. And don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. My last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. 
So you got that job as a janitor after all. If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. You make me think somebody already did. My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Only once have I met such a coward. He must have taught you everything you know. I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. He must have taught you everything you know? You are a pain in the backside, sir. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. 